Good evening, I'm London Swan. Eli Lilly has agreed to purchase the animal health products company Novartis Animal Health for approximately $5.4 billion. The all-cash transaction could strengthen and diversify Lilly's own health business, Elanco. When Lilly completes the acquisition, Elanco, which has been a part of Eli Lilly for nearly 60 years, will become the second largest animal health company in the world. 19 Indiana counties that suffered from extreme winter weather this January will receive assistance from the Federal Emergency Management Agency after it granted Governor Mike Pence's appeal. Earlier this month, FEMA denied Indiana's request for assistance to help recover from winter storms that crippled the state at the start of the year. Pence appealed the decision and today the federal government granted that appeal for 19 of the 49 counties Indiana requested assistance for. FEMA will provide grants that will pay for 75% of expenses related to winter weather damage. The counties that were granted assistance include Morgan, Owen, Putnam, and Vigo counties. Indiana schools preparing for next week's spring I-STEP test reported problems with an online practice exam today. That's after computer glitches disrupted more than 30,000 exams last year. The problems also come after Oklahoma suspended statewide testing Monday because of computer problems. Oklahoma and Indiana both use the same testing company, McGraw-Hill, to administer their standardized testing. A McGraw-Hill spokesperson says the computer issues in Oklahoma were because of a company-wide technology problem not specific to online testing. Testing in Oklahoma resumed today and Indiana schools can begin administering ISTEP on Monday. Now here's a quick check of the weather. For WTIU News, I'm London Swan.